Hello everyone, hope you're doing wonderful today. Welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to try and create a bubble effect with UV resin and uh, dish soap. So let's get started. I'm going to try this technique on an MDF base as well as on a resin base. So this is MDF and I've painted uh, it with black acrylic and it's completely dry now so on the other side i also have uh, a resin piece that is curing it's i've just put resin mixed with black opaque pigment and it's been 24 hours now so i'm going to start with the mdf base so all you need for this is some uv resin so take your uv resin and uh, spread it all over your base Spread the resin all over the base, use a popsicle stick or make sure you are wearing nitrile gloves before spreading the resin. Meanwhile I have already mixed uh, washing dish soap and water and um, mixed it in a glass nicely and uh, you get some bubbles like this so maybe you know two parts of water to one part of dish soap so when you mix like this you get uh, you get bubbles and what you want to remove from this is just the bubbles so I've taken a straw here and just blowing through this uh, mix mixture and what that does is it creates bigger bubbles. The bigger the size of the bubble, the more uh, more larger the effect. So as soon as I I get a good amount of bubbles, I'm going to just take uh, the, take the bubbles from the surface and uh, put it uh, over the coaster. So you want all of that over the UV resin. So as I was doing this, uh, I could see that you know the bubbles that are already put are starting to burst. So got to do this, uh, do this bit quickly. Once I was happy with the amount of bubbles, I used my UV light and uh, cured the UV resin according to the instruction on the bottle. As much as possible, just try to take the bubbles from the surface. Um, you don't want too much of the water on the UV resin. So this is how it looks when once it resin has cured. So you can see that uh, I think I've missed a few spots in the edges or in the corners. So once it's cured, uh, I took a tissue paper and uh, just wiped the surface to make sure there was no water. So I'm going to do the same procedure on um, on the resin resin surface. So guys if you are new to my channel please do subscribe and hit that like button it helps me out a lot. If you would like to buy me a cup of tea the links are down below.
So this effect looks great with the chameleon pigments, mica powders, anything with the with glitter. So I'm using uh, a color changing pigment first, uh, green and uh, purple one, I think. So all you got to do is uh, use a brush and uh, rub the color changing powder all over the surface. So as you can see, if you have uh, bubbles of a bigger size then you get uh, a bigger size uh, effect it's actually made uh, made another one and you can see that the bubble size was slightly bigger so i got a, a bigger crater here and I'm using a different uh, color changing pigment on this. Moving on to the resin piece now, so I thought let's use something different. Uh, so this is a iridescent pink powder. Along with that, I'll also use some mica powder. And doing the same thing, just use a brush and uh, brush the powder all over the surface. Uh, so do remember, once you brush the powder, just remove the excess else uh, all the excess powder will come to the surface once you pour resin over it. So once you have uh, brushed all the powder, remove all the excess and uh, pour resin over it. So I'm using a medium viscosity resin and um, just making sure the surface is fully covered with it. Allow the resin to fully cure and uh, we're going to see how this turns out tomorrow. So the combination of the background color as well as the pigment, color changing pigment, just making it look awesome. So here's the final result. And check out that color change. How cool is that? Previously we did this effect on uh, on an MDF flat surface so now we are going to do this on a silicone mold. So what I have done is I have already uh, put some epoxy resin in a few of these molds and I have allowed it to cure overnight. So you can skip this step and directly use UV resin instead, this particular step that I am doing. Next step uh, very similar to what we, what we did previously on the flat surface, uh, so I am going to put some uh, UV resin make sure that it is spread all over the uh, flat surface of the resin blow any bubbles using the flame lighter then blow some uh, bubbles using uh, liquid dish soap and water skim the surface you want only the bubbles and then put those bubbles on top of the UV resin once you have covered everything with the bubbles, use a UV light.
to cure the UV rays in. Pour moisture on it. So once all of that is done, uh, I'm taking uh, mica powder and I'm going to brush it all over the surface. So I'm taking uh, green color mica powder. Using brush, I'm going to brush the powder all over the surface. So once you brush uh, the powder and it's done, make sure to remove the excess powder and it will sit on the surface uh, once you pour resin over it. I took some epoxy resin, mixed it with white opaque pigment and uh, poured it all over the surface. I'm going to allow this to cure for 24 hours and I will demold this and see how it goes. So instead of epoxy resin, you can also use UV resin too. It's been 24 hours, resin is cured, let's demold this. And here we go. Oh cool, check that out. So you can see they, they look like little pearls because the resin has filled up all the craters and you can actually see it through the surface. So I've done a few more and you can see the difference. If the background while pouring is transparent then you'll see little pearls and if the background is solid like a white or a black then you're basically just filling up the crater with resin. So both techniques are cool. Do try it out. Thank you so much for watching. Do subscribe, comment, like and share. I'll see you soon in the next one.